These are my desk drawers and I'm going to show you guys how I organize them. This is actually the second video in a series of videos on my home office. I have a new office set up. I just completely redesigned and reorganized my office and the first video is all about the design itself and the setup. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link below for you. But this video is going to be all about my desk drawer organization. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside and get started. First, we're going to concentrate on the right side of my desk and in my top drawer and this is all of my DIY craft supplies. So over here are all my paints, my glitters, my glues. I stood up what I could and laid down the rest and then arranged it around that so that everything would be together. Over here I have my washi tape, my ink, and my stamps longer items like my paint brushes and my hole puncher and this like marker writes on the car and I have more things back here so I'll take this out so I can show you what's back here and in this little bin right here we have just my wires and my floral tape and some copper wire now I didn't realize I had the same kind of thread so I'm glad that I'm organized now so I won't buy any more duplicates don't need those okay so I'm gonna put that back then over here, I have my cute little clothes pins. Aren't these adorable? I love using those, especially around the fall time. I don't know why. Okay, back here, I just have like a uh, like a paper stamp thing that goes back there because I don't use it too often. So I don't mind it being in the back. And then back here are just, you know, my glitters. And that's it. This is the top. And if you notice, what I did is I just kind of separated things that are like together so you know the washi tape and things like that and then after I separated them all together I kind of then got the containers and arranged the drawer around the items that I had. So now moving on to the second drawer and this drawer again I just have craft supplies. So this is my favorite part of the drawer though in this little pouch I have all of my glue gun supplies. So I have my actual glue gun, all of my glue sticks I keep in here as well as like my glue gun pad. So I keep it all in here, it's nice and neat, it's together, and I love this little system I put together, it makes it really easy. So that's fun. Over here I have all of my burlap stuff, ribbon, twine, string, you name it. Over here, this is one of my favorite things, and I love this container from the container store because it holds the ribbon perfectly. Love that. The only thing it doesn't do is hold this really wide ribbon perfectly, so I just kind of crammed it in there. So it's in there, but you know, it's not perfect, so I still got to figure that out. Over here, I just have some googly eyes. Don't know why I still have those. Uh, yeah. So then over here I just have some gold leafing and over here are just some bits of fabric that my I have for my grandmother that passed away when I was six. So it's really sweet having fabric from her there. So in these two drawers I just have all of my DIY craft supplies. And in this last drawer I have, whew, this just hit the tripod, I have my files. I'm not going to open it all the way because you can... You get the general idea. I will be doing a separate video on how I organize my files and I'm going to be going into detail. So if you want a detailed video on how to organize your files, come back because there will be a video on that. Moving on to the next set of drawers, we have this top drawer, which is all of my office supplies, which you can see. So over here is kind of like my tech section. I just have my memory cards, my uh, cables, this is my USB drive, and then over here is just my lapel that I use for voiceovers. Now, all this is kind of subject to change. I might tweak it and move some things around, but right now this is how it is, and if I change it, I'll let you know. Over here in this section, this is like actually one whole unit. But there's some space right here, so in this space I just put my lighter for candles. Over here, this is actually a little, like a cleaned out Bath & Body Works candle. And I just have hand cream, lip balm, my Sharpies. This is my sister's business card. She's a paralegal, so I keep that in there. This is my 
just some more hand cream over here we have some uh, this this is funny that's a uh, tape measure which I have one downstairs and one upstairs because I use them all the time I'm like my mom and I'm like my sister and the fact that we both love to collect rocks like when we travel so I have them scattered all over the place and this one lives here uh, this is just some white out and then my list my post-it notes look mike wrote me and i love you note and i just keep it on the bottom right there and then here's my label maker cartridges i just keep back here so let me take this out though so you can see this these are like all my paper clips and stuff like that which i really don't keep or i mean i don't use too often which is why it's in the back so i might purchase those if i don't use those in a few months and this is the top of my drawer. Oh, and I got these containers all from Target. Strangely enough, in like the laundry section, they have some like containers, and that's where I got this one, at least in my Target. So check in that section, check in the bathroom section and the office supply section. So hopefully um, you'll find these somewhere floating around in one of those sections. So this is the top drawer. In the next drawer down, we have more office supplies. So in here, we have my label maker, which kind of with all these other little containers fits perfectly right there. All these containers are from the container store. These with all my dry erase markers, which I have my dry erase board downstairs. And I might also get a, uh, a content calendar. I might get a dry erase board for up here as well. So that's why those are there. These are just some more office supplies. We have staples. I have enough staples to last me a long time, don't I? Over here are all my labels, which I have so many. I kind of get them on clearance and I don't need to buy any more. If anything, I need to purge them. So there's my labels over here in this section is kind of like more tech things. I have my uh, travel G drive, my little gold G drive, and then another stapler, which I have one on top of my desk, but I like having both of them, believe it or not. Now, like I said up here, I have my label maker cartridges, so I might kind of like move it around so that the so that this is next to the cartridges and then my other tech things in here like this stuff is together with this i just haven't found the right arrangement for that yet but either way all of my office supplies is pretty much in these two drawers let me show you what's in the third drawer now we're at my second drawer down so in here let me show you what we have we have my label maker and all of these containers in here I got from the container store and it, it made the perfect spot for my label maker um, and then here's just some dry erase markers some extra staples I have I am good on staples for a while as well as all my labels look at all these tags and labels Oh goodness, I have so many. Hopefully I can use some of those. If not, I think I need to start purging. Uh, over here are is kind of like more tech things. I have my G drive and my gold drive, hard, hard drive. These are more travel. And then this is a stapler, obviously, which I have another one on top of my desk, but I kind of like them both. So I, I'm using and I have them both. Now, one thing I am thinking about is though moving the cartridges uh, to this down here and then putting all my tech stuff like these and then I have my tech stuff up here, you know, all together in one section in one drawer. Although I haven't found the right arrangement for, for that yet. So I don't know, we'll see if I change it or not. But right now this is how it is and I know that everything is at least organized in these two drawers. So that's how it is. So let me show you the third drawer. And lastly, we have the very bottom drawer and this is the last of my office supplies. So what I did in here is that I needed a place where I could put cardstock, you know, like these uh, paper cover things, uh, labels, printable tags, just things like that that I have that I use, maybe some, I have some dividers in here. I, I wanted a space for all of this. So this is kind of how I organized it. Uh, this drawer was made for files. So what I did is I took out the filing hardware though, and I'll show you where I put that in a minute. And then I got this, this really neat thing from Container Store. So if you can see, it has like two, two ends right here, and then in the middle, it has this adjustable, this adjustable piece right here, and you can kind of move it. So I put all of the paperwork, um, things like that, 
all up against here. And then that freed me with this section. So in this section, I now have a spot for my planner. This is my Heart of the Farm planner, although right now I'm using my Erin Condren. And then over here, I just have my uh, planner supplies. So that's over here. So that's, it's nice that, that those things have a home. Over here is our three hole punch stapler. Uh, and then over here, well, let me say it first, behind here is our paper cutter. So it's kind of like all of our paper tools and paper things are all in this drawer, which is really nice. And then over here, because this ends right here, I kind of use this as a way to organize. The, I used to actually paint watercolor, so in here are some watercolors. And then this is just some little packets from Martha Stewart that I had gotten and I love holding on to these because I use them all the time so I have a couple extra of those and then I have a couple extra of these. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot and I use these for a lot of different things. Uh, one of them is sometimes for filing which I might go into later if this will go back down. There it goes. Okay, and then over here, this is all the filing for basil sheets. So this is where I keep all the basil sheet paperwork, which you can see isn't much, but it's nice to have a place where uh, I can have it organized and put in there. So that's where that goes. So this is everything that's in here. Oh, this right here, this is a lot, but my husband actually printed out a productivity worksheet for me. So he, he customized it, put my little label right there. And uh, it is pretty helpful, but I have so many of them. So I am, I am set for life. So this is the last of my office supplies. And within these three drawers, this is where I keep everything. And now we are in the last section of drawers that I have. And in these drawers, it's, it's more so miscellaneous items. So starting off, we have our checkbook supplies and our uh, shipping supplies. So that's what's in this drawer. Now, not everyone talks about where they put their extra checkbooks. I've yet to, to see a video on where people put random things like this, but at least now you know where we put ours. So we have one for checking, one for business, and this is how we store those extras. I got these dividers from the container store. These things are really awesome because they're padded right here, so they won't, won't ruin the finish on here, but they really are very sturdy and they stay in place nicely. So here's all of our envelopes. Over here, my checkbook, Disney. Yes, love Disney, makes me happy. And then over here, we just have the stamps. And then this is our address stamps that we just stamp on envelopes. So that's there. And then over here, we just have thank you notes. There's nothing really behind here either, but we have thank you notes. Look, I have a little basil sheet thank you note. So that's everything in here, all shipping, checkbook things in this drawer. Next, we have the second drawer down, and in here, this is a very light drawer because this is kind of like my basil chic planning, creative thinking drawer. So basically, I put this paper on top to kind of hide my messy writing. Because I do have good handwriting, I promise, but when I write fast, it's not pretty. So, and I'm a terrible speller. So this is all notes on, notes I jotted down for videos and certain things. And then here is a couple of notebooks that I have. And my husband got these for free and he gave them to me because he knows how I would use them. And you see, you can see that's, that's my creative writing right there. So anyway, so I use these to jot down notes in, to think in. That's kind of how I, I think. I like to write things down, look at them, list them out. So this is how I do a lot of like video planning, ideas, things like that. So this is my little login book back here. I need to destroy it though because we don't use it anymore. But I'm just kidding now. Okay, so it's back there. And then over here I have my business boutique notebook. I went to a conference that was so good, so I have all my notes in there. I catalog that in the computer already, and then I have this notebook, which has my bridal shower and my pre-Christmas planning video ideas in. So this is just all my notebooks, thinking, planning, writing, little notes. I just know everything I do for Basil Chic will go in here. If it's notes, if it's resources, whatever it is. So it's kind of nice to have this section knowing that those things will have a place. And I can just thumb through here when I do video or 
start to plan or something. Now we're on to the very last drawer and you can tell that this was also a file drawer but I removed the hardware from here. I actually put the hardware from this drawer and the other drawer in this zippered pocket that I got from the container store. So it laid in there perfectly and I just tucked it behind here so if I ever need to use it, well it's right there if I change my mind and it doesn't get lost and it's not taking up a lot of space. So I like that, that's where that is. So over here, then what I did in order to make use of the vertical space like I did in the other drawer is I got these con uh, containers from the container store and they're like these little file storage boxes, which I love, it's perfect. So in this one, I kind of keep my design supplies. So this is just some fabric samples that I got from Little Design Co. This is the color of my pillow and I really appreciated this and I wanted to hang on to them. And then in here, I'm not crazy about this purple pocket folder, but I had it so I'm using it. But in here I'm keeping all these paint samples that I love, that I'm using around the house. So that's where that goes. So it's really nice having a home for these design elements. And then over here, I just have my business cars. Super official, right? <laughs> and then, so that's where they're at. And then just some cleaning supplies, the air can that I use, and then a Swiffer. I keep a Swiffer in here because my office is upstairs. And this is just nice to, you know, dust it. I do have white furniture after all. It does get a little dusty in here. So it's nice having that in there so I could keep it nice and clean and then over here we just have this is my design notebook I'm actually taking a design course right now so uh, this is where I just keep everything I don't need much for the course just this so I am happy to have this it's more of a reference for me anyways on just how to do certain things and then uh, that's it the only thing I don't like is if you can see if you have a notebook like this it won't close so this is too large. So I'm happy that I at least had enough room to kind of bend it down that way. So that will fit. So this is kind of like my design, extra miscellaneous, and I love having it organized, but this is how I organize all my desk drawers. And that's how I organized all my desk drawers. I really hope that you found this video helpful or inspiring. That's why I do these videos to give you guys ideas on what you can do in your own home or your own desk. So. Subscribe for more of these kinds of videos. You can either subscribe through YouTube right here or you can go to basilsheet.com and click on this link below and subscribe there. That's my blog. You'll just simply get an email every time I post a new video. Either way, subscribe, doesn't matter to me. But those of you who already subscribed to my blog, hopefully you already got the email announcing this video. So check out, you can check out the, uh, the videos that I put down here, you know, I might put one down here, so check that out if you want to. But either way, I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.